Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a new mailbox database in Exchange 2019. After installing the Exchange server, the next step is to create a new mailbox database to store different types of mailboxes and related data. So the question is, what is mailbox database? A mailbox database is a storage to store mailboxes and related data in Exchange Server 2019. Mailbox database store data that is private to an individual mailbox. With the fresh installation of Exchange Server 2019, a default mailbox database is created automatically in default exchange installation location. In the last video, we have seen the steps to rename and move location of default mailbox database. In this video, we want to create a new mailbox database on our exchange server. For that, we can use the exchange admin center or exchange management shell to create a new mailbox database in Exchange Server 2019. In this guide, we will use Exchange Admin Center means graphical user interface to create new mailbox database. Let's open Internet Explorer to access Exchange Admin Center. Let's click on More Information and click on Go on to the web page as Exchange is currently using a self-signed certificate. Let's specify the credential to sign in to Exchange Admin Center. Let's click on Sign In. On Exchange Admin Center, we need to click on Service. And then after, we need to click on Databases tab. If you have any existing mailbox database on your server, that will be listed here. And as you can see, we have a one existing mailbox database with the name and DB01. To create a new mailbox database, we need to click on this plus icon. Let's uh, specify the name of our mailbox database, which will be a DB02 in our case. And let's select server to host new mailbox database. Let's click on browse button. And we have uh, only one mailbox server and that is selected. EX19-MBX01. Let's click on OK. Once you select your mailbox server, the database path and log file path will be selected automatically. If you want to specify the custom location for the database and log files, you can specify here. It is best practice to store database file and logs in a different rows. Database log files can come handy while recovering Exchange database. Uh, let me open a file explorer. Already I have created two drives. Uh, this drive G, I have created this drive to store Exchange Mailbox database. And on this drive, we will store associated log files. Okay, let's go back to Internet Explorer. And here I'm going to specify the database file path. Okay, so path will be g colon slash db02 slash db02.edb. This is the name of our database file path. And then after I'm going to change the log folder path as well. It will be on edge drive. Uh, let me show that. Under edge drive, we don't have anything. And under g drive, it is totally empty. Fine. Okay, as you can see, mount this database options is also selected. Uh, suppose if you want to mount this database later on, that time you can clear the checkbox. Let's click on save. Let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, in a background, one directory is there with the name DB02. Uh, click on OK on the warning dialog box as we need to restart the Microsoft Information Store service. Click on OK. Perfect. First, let's go back to Exchange Admin Center and here we can verify that our new mailbox database has been successfully created with the name DB02. Uh, first, I'm going to open Services Management Console as we need to restart Exchange Information Store Service. Okay, let's open Services. 
Let's maximize it and we need to find service Microsoft Exchange Information Store. Okay. So if there are mailboxes configured on other mailbox database on same exchange server, then restart the service after working hours. As all the users that have their mailboxes on affected database will lose their Outlook connection for a short moment. So we need to restart the service after a business hour. So it is highly advisable to create Exchange mailbox database after business hours as we need to restart Exchange Information Store service. So let's right click on Microsoft Exchange Information Store service and select Restart. Perfect. Let's close Services Management Console. Let's click on Refresh. And fine, our DB02 is there and status is mounted. Okay, let's check associated ADB file and log files for our mailbox database. Let's go to File Explorer and under G drive, as you can see, we have a one directory with the name DB02 and under it, we have a DB02.adb file. This is the database file path of our mailbox database DB02. Let's click on this PC. And double click on edge drive and here we have a directory with the name db02 plus double click on it and here you can see we have several log files associated with that mailbox database we also have temporary adb file uh, which is a temporary database of that mailbox database see action server use the set of data files to store and maintain the mailbox database like log files, reserved log files, and a checkpoint files. So these are the collections of log files associated with our mailbox database DB02. So for us, the mailbox database is created successfully and both log files and EDB files folders are looking great. We can now create user mailboxes a new mailbox database. And that we are going to see in the next video. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video on how to create a new mailbox database in Action Server 2019.